say, oh, I've got to have it. Now, Amber Kemp Gerstel is joining us to help walk us through what we're going to be able to do with this. Absolutely. Let me just introduce you to the tool that you didn't know you needed because mm -hmm. until today it has not existed. Mm -hmm. It is the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. And this tool that I'm holding in my hand will allow you to turn your electronic cutting machine that you already have in your home and turn it into an electronic foiling machine okay. with the power of this tool. Any of those files that you are using for, with your machine to draw, whether your machine be a silhouette, whether it's a brother that you picked up today, mm -hmm. you'll be able to use this to turn those drawing files into foiled files. Okay. Now, let me show you what I mean. You're thinking, well, what are you talking about, girl? <laughs> well, I have taken a plain black piece of cardstock, and oh. beneath, I have created an intricate foiled design on my cutting mat, the same cutting mat that you would typically be cutting or drawing on. Maybe you're drawing with a boring plain pen. Yeah. And then you can take that project and turn it Whoa. into a beautiful, intricate, foiled design that is custom to what you want. The color is custom, the design is custom. Now, let's even go a little bit further. Okay. We all love sending beautiful snail mail, as I like to say. Well, <laughs> we all always love our handwriting. Oh, wow. And I bet you your handwriting doesn't come in foil. Well, now, because you can use your electronic cutting machine mm -hmm. to write, you can use that to foil onto an envelope. And let's say you want to even take it a step further and you're having an event. Mm -hmm. You can take, what I have here is a photo. Right? We, mm -hmm. all, we all have a pl plenty of photos, but mm -hmm. what if that photo then becomes a foiled design oh my that is, you know, an invitation yeah. or save the date. If something as special as a wedding can be commemorated with the foil code because you can, you can put in custom text, yeah. you can put in custom designs all around a photo, even create an envelope oh that my coordinates. Goodness. All of this was done on the foil quill. So let me go over here and tell you what it is that we are getting because okay. this is super important and I wanna make sure you understand. So over here, you're gonna get the foil quill pens the um, heat, they're essentially heat styluses. These heat styluses will apply heat to your project onto foil and allow you to foil whatever it is you're placing them on. So there's three of them because they have different thicknesses. There's uh, the fine, there's the bold, and there's the medium. Okay. You're also going to get four adapters. I'm gonna show you exactly how those work and why they're so valuable because they don't require you to buy any new machines. They mm -hmm. just work with what you have already. You're gonna get some low tack placement tape, a heat guard so that you can protect your work surface when you're not using your foil quill, and then three rolls of foil in rose gold, silver, and gold. Okay. You also have those upsell items where you can, if you are loving what you're seeing already, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and buy some additional foils and really beautiful shades to get more out of your foil quill. So okay. here's how it works. Let's okay. go and foil something, right? Okay. So I'm going to grab one of my, my, um, my foil quills. This one is the medium width uh, pen. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to do is I know that I have a particular machine and each of these coordinates with the machine. A is for silhouette. B is for your brother's scan and cut that you've been seeing today. Mm -hmm. C is for Cricut and D is for Sizzix. No matter which of these machines you have, this tool will work. I know that we're about to go and use the silhouette. So I'm gonna grab, okay. I'm choosing A. I'm gonna slide it on and twist it okay. until it fits into place. So now I've made this adaptable to my silhouette. So let's walk over to the silhouette and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay. So here I've taken my foil quill and I plugged that USB end into a battery pack. You could plug this into a wall plug, mm -hmm. you can plug this into your computer. Wherever it's gonna be charged, you're gonna know that it's charged once that light turns on. And all that you have to do is, this is when it's out, I'm gonna drop it in and because I have that adapter, it's now fit to my silhouette and push it in and you're done. Mm -hmm. Now on my mat, you can see I have my cutting mat, I have my cardstock, and I have that foil placed down onto it with the placement tape keeping it in place. You wanna make sure that that placement tape is there holding the foil in place so that it will foil seamlessly. Now mm -hmm. I'm gonna go into whatever software it is I'm using. For this one, of course, it's gonna match my machine, but no mm -hmm. matter which machine you're using, I'm gonna send that project over there. You're gonna immediately, Hear the machine start going to work. It's a sound you're familiar with, but it's an action you're not familiar with because between the motion and the pressure that's applied to that paper, this is now adding a foiled element to my cardstock, something I've not been able to do before, but now I can take my machine that I already own and add foiled elements to it. So 
Let's head back over here okay. while this is going because I, this okay. is going to take a couple of minutes to go. All right. And now that you kind of understand everything that you're able to create, I get it. let me tell you, it's you get beautiful. It? You get it, right? This so is beautiful. Yeah. If you can draw it, mm -hmm. if it's something that your machine will allow you to draw with a standard pen, just a mm -hmm. marker, mm -hmm. this will allow you to do it in foil, which is never really been yes. done before. This yes. is a really innovative way to get more out of the machine you already own. Okay. You don't need to buy another machine. You just need the foil quill. And like I said, it works with all popular cutting, electronic cutting machines. Okay. All right, so let me show you some of the materials that you can use. This is vellum. Mm -hmm. Look how intricate that is. Do you see how tiny some of that yes. writing is on there? Yes. So we've taken vellum and done it there. You can take, this is another example of, of vellum. So vellum mm -hmm. is kind of a translucent, thin, delicate mm -hmm. paper. Another one of my favorite things to do, oh, you can foil pretty. multiple colors. So mm -hmm. I've shown you um, already some examples of using one color, some golds. Okay. But now I'm using a pink, a purple, a red, and a green all to foil onto one project. And you can see you get that beautiful reflection it's there. very pretty. This is one of my favorite examples, acetate. So mm -hmm. a thick, clear acetate can be foiled mm -hmm. with the foil quill, just like that. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we can see there are leather earrings. Mm -hmm. So this is leather that's been foiled and then cut. Because remember, your machine, you probably bought it because you're right. excited to be able to cut things. Yes. Well, you can foil and cut mm -hmm. all at the same time now. Okay. You can also do vinyl. Now we can rethink that most popular material, vinyl, and create our own custom foiled vinyl labels. I love these. These are custom foil vinyl herb labels. Wow. So you can give this as a gift. So that wedding that you got invited to with the foil quill limitation, yeah. you can make that couple their own custom, you know, get their pantry ready with yeah. custom labels. Let's head back what? over to the uh, okay. silhouette to see what we have created. It just finished kind of going. Okay. And I'm going to peel this project back quickly. You, of course, you'll want to take a lot more care in doing so when you do it at home. But Look at that. Look at that. A custom message to my friend Barbara, oh. which I can create with foil. I would not be able to do this where right. I, unless I went to a store and paid a lot of money for a whole set of cards that say, thank you, Barbara, and mm -hmm. I don't want a whole set. I want right. one. Right. And now I can create a foiled, intricate design with someone's name on it in foil using the foil that quill. Now, so we've pretty. shown you how to use one machine, right? Okay, Let's that go was over so here hard. and see what happens when I go to a completely different machine. And maybe you're a lucky crafter who has two machines in yes. your home, right? Yes. You might have a couple of die cutting machines that you really enjoy. Well, okay. I'm using another one. This and is this the, is our our bro this is our today special? Exactly. This okay. is the today special. I'm actually using, is this, oh, you know what just happened? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's take a break. Let's pause that. Okay. And unload it. I forgot to take <laughs> the cover off of the top, so that was my fault, but this had nothing to do okay. with the machine. So I'm just going to load that up again. All right. All right. There and we go. And you'll you'll notice that you already put down the gold foil paper that you do get. So remember, you're gonna get a gold, a silver, and a rose gold. And then you're gonna get the fine, the medium, and the bold um, tip. And then all of the adapters for all those, those machines. All those adapters. So one set of those foil quill st heat styluses, like mm -hmm. I said, bold, fine tip, and medium tip. And the adapters will allow you to really use this with any machine. So let's go through a few other examples of what you'll be able to cut while that brother is over there doing some work. This is one okay. of my favorites. I'm going to turn it toward you so you can see okay. as I peel back how intricate you can create the designs with the oh oil my quill. Goodness. Can you see that? Yes. <gasps> look. Look at this. Wow. Look at how that reflection. Oh my you can goodness. Catch. Oh, look at that. That's. That's I'm to, beautiful. I want you to see how pretty it is. Because you know what? If you bought one sheet of paper like that, you'd be paying a couple dollars just Absolutely. for one sheet of paper. Absolutely. And now you can and make now it. now you can make it yourself. You can pick the color foil that you want. You, yeah. can, you can choose the size and the dimensions you like. So here's another one. This is an, oh, wow. another incredibly intricate yeah. foiled design oh, this that is we fun. created. Oh my using gosh. the foil quill. And this is an example of how detailed you can get with the uh, fine point fine point nib. And this is another project that we created yes. with it. So yeah. another scrapbook layout just like that. It looks like oh. we're almost out of time. So I just want to run over okay. here and show you just as I was able to cut with, or I'm sorry, to foil with, okay. the, with the brothers with the today silhouette. Special. Because remember, you can use these tips in any of your major cutting machines. The silhouette, the brother, the uh, cricket, or the, the D was the... 
The Sizzix. Sizzix, okay. So A, B, C, D, those four adapters correspond mm -hmm. to a machine. You have mm -hmm. your silhouette, you have your brother, you have your Cricut, and you have your Sizzix. Okay. Exactly. So here, I took that design that I foiled, I was able to cut it, oh, because wow. remember, it is a cutting machine as well, and yeah. create my own custom foiled ephemera or embellishments or frames, whatever you want to do to use to make scrapbook pages and cards just like that. Okay, I know that our clock is down, but we're going to hang on for just a, just one more minute because oh, so many of you awesome. wanted to see more of the examples of what you can do. Well, here's another example just down here that's one of my favorites because I think this really um, does show you, yeah, yeah. I'll show you on black, mm -hmm. how this looks exactly like something that you mm -hmm. would pay five, six, seven dollars for each mm -hmm. through a professional stationery yes, shop. Yes, for sure. This is an invitation that mimics something that is very high end, but mm -hmm. you were able to create this at home with your foil quill. The writing you can create, the text you can create, if you can draw it, and remember, mm -hmm. it may be a file that's on your machine already. It may mm -hmm. be a file that is already on the program, the software that you like to use. Yeah. It may be a project that you drew yourself or d designed yourself. If it's an SVG that you can bring in and draw mm -hmm. with your electronic cutting machine, whatever it may be, you can foil it like I have foiled so many of these beautiful projects here okay you can boil yeah. acetate leather Le vinyl, vinyl so many so yes. many even wood you can do even thin wood. wood you can do thin wood as well yeah I know we do have to move but <laughs> It's our today's special too. We took $20 off the price. You've got it on four flex. It works along with the major cutting machine. So there's, you don't have to buy another machine. You're just picking this up and now you can foil. And it comes along with the rose gold, the silver and the gold foil paper. And of course the, um, the, the uh, fine, medium and bold tip. tip.